Yes, what we have here is a force displacement system that looks very much like a bridge with two colorful pillars. Uh, these aren't just any pillars, these are smart cart pillars. And what we've done here is attached a magnetic bumper to the smart cart. Not that we need it to be magnetic, but what we need is a nice smooth surface here because it's going to form, as I say, the pillar. And what it's going to measure is the vertical force that's being applied down by the bridge. Now, what I've done through the software is I've zeroed the whole system. So there are no forces now being measured. It's a zero force that's being measured by both pillars. But I'm going to put a cart on top of here, and I'll be able to measure and monitor the track and the motion of the cart because there's an optical encoder in that cart that tells me exactly what the position is. So what's going to happen is this cart's going to move along the bridge, and the force sensors, each one of them simultaneously, is going to tell us what the respective forces are. And what we're going to determine is are they going to be equal all the way through? Will this one be heavier at one point? Will that one be heavier at another point? We're going to find out, all right? So I'm going to go to the software and hit the start button and slowly move the smart cart along the track. I want to move it quite slowly in order to get enough data points and such. Now I've got to be careful not to push down on the cart, because if I push down on the cart, I'm going to be applying an additional force. So there we go, it's going down on its own a little bit, because it's not that level, but that's fine. And now we've got the data set, and I'm going to hit stop. Alright, I hit stop, I've got data set number one. What else might I want to do? Well, what would be kind of interesting is, what if we move the pillars? So rather than have them on the end, how would the data compare if we move the pillars inwards, as such. So I've got them in, like that. I had previously set everything to measure zero when I didn't have any forces on top of it, and it's going to maintain that zero reading. So now I'm going to go back, put the cart back on the track. I'm going to do trial number two, hit start. And again, very slowly moving the cart along the track. So, and there we go. And now we're going to look at the data.